Now, a government senator has hit the headlines today saying he was forced to sleep in his car on two occasions recently because he could not find a hotel room in Dublin for less than €200. Euro. A little earlier, I spoke to Fianna Fáil senator for Roscommon, Eugene Murphy, and I began by asking him about the circumstances that led to him having to sleep in his car. Well, first of all, Kira, I heard this uh, story being referenced in a number of the pay-per-views on several radio stations this morning on my way to Dublin. And certainly I could identify with that story very much uh, from another Rockless member. So basically over the past two months on two occasions, I've had to, um, you know, hit for home late at night uh, on the basis I could not get a hotel in Dublin. Now, I'm almost seven years in the Rockless and this has never happened before. So I would uh, take to... Um, down the N4 and onto the N5, uh, down to get back to, to Roscommon. And uh, just, you know, you'd be overcome with tiredness uh, uh, halfway down. And on two occasions, I pulled in at the forecourt of a filling station uh, on the bypass near Mullingar uh, and just slept it off till four o'clock in the morning. Uh, and then I had to, I suppose, be ready to come back into the city to avoid the traffic. So, look, it's no big deal. It just happened to me. It's just the way things are at the moment. And it is very, very difficult to get a hotel in Dublin City right now. Sean Fleming, do you have sympathy for Eugene Murphy? Well, it's news to me. I hadn't heard about this until today and I wasn't aware of it ever happening at all. And essentially what he's saying is he's working very late. He couldn't get a hotel in town. He started to drive home. He got tired when he got to Mullingar and he pulled in and slept in the car in a filling station, which was the right thing to do if you're tired. And I actually think he did the right thing rather than continue driving and maybe have a crash. So from that point of view, but the, the availabilities of hotels are very difficult. And I know if you're just looking for a single night midweek, it can be very difficult. But it's a fairly unique situation. I wasn't aware of this ever happening before now. And he said it wasn't just him. It's not a one-off situation. He said he knows of a TD in Leinster House who has slept in his car in the car park of Leinster House yeah. because he either couldn't find a room or couldn't find a room that he thought was affordable. And I think affordability is the issue here. Yeah, well, I don't think that should come into it because they've mentioned already TDs or senators get an overnight allowance. And if they have to top it up out of their own money to balance, so be it would be my view. Um, but I do think in the circumstances, he didn't have a room booked and he was driving home and he was tired. He was right to pull in sleep for a few hours from a road safety point of view. The discomfort to the person involved is a secondary issue to road safety, as far as I'm concerned. But this is not just one night, he said. Well, I don't... A couple of nights, and he said that there's other members of the Oireachtas that are having to do this. Yeah, well, I'm surprised at that too, because I know, and I remember before sometimes in a busy summer season in June or July when tourism people have had to go out 20 miles from the city centre to get a room at night. I remember that happening. But so be it, and if you have to drive in an hour, better than driving the whole way down to the west of Ireland and back. Or better than sleeping in your car, some It say. is. So you mightn't get one in Dublin City here, but you will get one within an hour of Dublin, that's for sure. Um, Padre Trabine, do you think it is acceptable that uh, a senator couldn't find a hotel room in Dublin? Last minute, um, I would add, although he did say actually he looked for a couple of weeks in advance for less than €200. Euro. Well, m my sympathies will be very clearly with the people who are forced to stay in hotel rooms every night, people who are who are homeless and can't get a house, you know, for, for, for years and who are trying to raise a family in a hotel room. My sympathy would be for the people in the defence forces who are actually sleeping in cars because they can't afford anywhere to live at all. My sympathies would be for the people who are come from Donegal and for Kerry for, for health, you know, treatments in Dublin and they need to stay overnight in Dublin and they're looking for, for accommodation and can't get it or are being gouged in terms of prices. You know, I think, to be honest... Do you think that's what's happening here? Well, I, I do... Th I, I know that the hotel industry uh, has uh, gouged before. I know that the whole hotel industry... When? At, well, at the times where there'd be big concerts in Dublin, there would be uh, massive increases, uh, you know, in prices of hotel rooms. Unfortunately, it, it happens in Ireland uh, that sometimes people see that there's a tightness between uh, supply and demand, and sometimes people take advantage of that. And actually, in the long term, it can actually do damage to a sector and an industry if that happens. Uh, but in this particular situation, I think that if a, a senator or TD looks 15 miles outside of Dublin uh, and had planned properly, would have found a B&B &B, uh, or hotel to suit their needs uh, if, if that were necessary. And, and to be honest, you know, uh, it's very hard to have prob uh, sympathy with members of the Oireachtas when so many other people are suffering mm. 
at such a level in this state. I just want to bring you the uh, Irish Hotels Federation's statement. And they weren't speaking out today, but they did send in a statement. They said they acknowledge that during busy periods, last minute availability can be limited in Dublin. They recommend booking well in advance and shopping around to secure the best value. There's absolutely mm. no acknowledgement of price gouging there. Yeah, listen, there's, there, there's no doubt that the sector is, is, is phenomenally under pressure at the moment. There are thousands of people who have come from a war-torn area uh, who are staying in, in hotels in this country at the moment. There are thousands of people who are homeless uh, who are staying at, in hotels at the moment. There is a crisis, and in the crisis, people have to hunker down and, and, and just deal with it, to be so honest. So which is it? Are they hunkering down to deal with the crisis? I, or are they price gouging? No, I think that, that it is possible for the two things to be happening at the same time. So in other words, there is a, a major difficulty with supply of rooms at the moment, and that's because of the international crisis that exists. And actually, that supply, therefore, is, is allowing for the, the very low level of supply that's left to be charged at a higher rate.